In this video, I'm going to show you how you can categorize your documents so that um, if you're using it for lots of different purposes, you can just show the ones that are relevant to the particular use case that you're working with. Um, so to do that, we're just going to go into our uh, designer and I'm going to replicate um, the one that we've already got so that we've got more than one template to work with. So just opening up the one that we've got already, I'm just going to deactivate it and just put the number one next to it so that we can um, yeah, have more than one. So we'll just activate that. And then just going back to the list, I'm just going to create another one and it's essentially going to be the exact same thing. Um, so we'll just come in to we'll upload the same document as before and just um, with our data raptors we're just going to give it the same name and we're going to save that and activate it and apologies my cat is crying behind me so if you can hear that that's what that noise is um, so we'll just activate that and we'll save the template as well um, and then just to show you, if I now go back to the actual um, uh, account and we go generate document, we should see two that come in. So we've got doctrine one and doctrine two. So let's say for example that these were completely unrelated. Um, one doesn't even have anything to do with the account. We don't necessarily want to show it. So how do we do that? Well, one way to do that is to come into our object manager and we go into templates and we're looking for our document template and I'm just going to add in a new field and it will be one that's called category so this will be a pick list and uh, we'll call this one category um, and we're just going to have this as a demo Obviously, we can have lots of them in there, um, but we'll keep it like that. We'll leave the default um, settings. All right. Then from there, um, I'll just shoot back here. So this time I'm going to type in document template. Um, so we've got our template designer that we've been using, but then we've also got this one called document templates. So we'll open that one up. Um, and now we've got our two templates there and um, as always make sure you use it to all if, if not everything's showing there. So in this case we're going to have our doctrine example 1 as being our main one that we want to show. So just opening that up and I'm going to set the category and we're going to call it demo and then save that. Then switching into our Omni script over here, um, we're going to change a few things. Now, um, what we could do is we could send through the category through the link um, and then that way everything gets set here. In this particular example, I'm just going to do it really quickly and I guess a little bit more on the dirtier side. And I'm actually going to set the category directly within the Omni script. So just over there, I'm going to deactivate this. And um, over here, I'm going to add a new one and I'm just going to call it category and we're going to call this demo and save. Then coming down to our get document templates just in there, we're going to add in a new input parameter and we're going to call this category and uh, we're going to have just category in there like that and with lowercase. Um, I'm just going to activate that. And just coming now, we need to go to our data raptors. And this one is using our sample um, there. And then we're just going to add in another step. So we'll go and, and we're going to go to category equals, and then category from our um, Omni script there. So just to show you, uh, whoops, let me go back. So um, we've got category there with a, a small c and category up um, from above from the um, variable that we said before. 
Um, just coming back in here, another thing that we can do, if you end up with lots of um, documents, you might want to have an order by, so we might say that we order it by uh, name. Uh, let me just double check that that is right, that we need them. Uh, it is name, yes, so we'll just order it by name. Oops. Name, and then we're going to just let that save. Like I said, my normal org has got a deactivate and activate button, but this one doesn't. So we'll just assume it's saved. Now, if we go back in, we should be ready to test that. So coming back into our account, um, I'm just going to close that. And we'll click on generate document. And actually, no records are displaying. So let's find out why. Um, so if we come into our data raptors, uh, it must not be coming in with the right name. So let's just preview uh, that there. So we want category uh, will be demo. Uh, so it is coming through okay. Um, obviously something that we've done in the Omni script is not quite liking that. So category should be fine. Let's just check there. Um, maybe we need to put it in commas. Uh, let's just double check. Well, not comments, but more apostrophes. And let's activate that. Let's close and refresh. And try again. Alright, I just had to pause to do some offline troubleshooting. Um, and I'm pretty confident that we don't need the quotes around demo. So I'm just going to deactivate and remove those. Um, so let's just get rid of that. Um, and now if I preview, um, we've got our, date, our data JSON there. Uh, we can see what our category is. I've got the object ID from beforehand there. So if I click next, um, so this is the select template LWC, which is not showing because I haven't activated it. However, if I look at Action Debugger, you, can, you can't really see this, but if I open it up, I can see what was sent to my data raptor, which is the template type and the category. And it does look like we're getting a response over there. So I'm going to activate this and um, try it again. So just from past experience in learning about document generation, I have found that I do need to activate and reactivate a few times for things to to work. So coming back in now to our account, let's click on generate document. And hopefully, yes, it has. Uh, we've only got that doc gen example one that's showing uh, rather than the two that we had before. So like I said, um, we are setting the category in the actual Omni script. And what we could do as well is actually pass it in there and that way we could use the same Omni script for multiple different purposes. But just for uh, convenience and ease, I've just put it directly into the Omni script to show you how to do it.